<clears throat> Gentlemen, it's that time of year again. I'm here. I was going to do a big done up thing in a in a barstool production room, but I forgot today and I wanted to get it done before a week uh, a week in the season. As Steve texts me right now in the work slack as it pops up on my computer. He tells me I work too much. Shame. Um, so, and also now the Red Sox are losing 3-2 on a wild pitch. Things are going great. Anyway, uh, so I am here. It is time to pick the order for which you can select your draft pick, a.k.a. the draft lottery, if you will. So, I got everyone's name written here. Just so everyone can see so they don't call me corrupt or colluded. I got Ronan there. I got Buzzy there. Lobo, Tommy, different than Tom, Tommy, Steve, these are all backwards and my camera will be the front facing when I go, myself, Tom, the reigning champ, who is also, I believe, going to be doing this draft from Ireland, midnight Ireland time, that's why we're doing it at 7 o'clock, so, Tom, appreciate you making the sacrifice, uh, and yeah, we'll be glad to have you there, Ritz, McGinnity, and Jimmy. Sorry, I just got distracted. The Astros almost scored again, and I was going to be upset. Not as upset as Frank the Tank screaming at a camera screen because the Mets gave Max Serger a thank you video today. I don't know why the Mets did that. That was a very silly move, so I actually side with Frank the Tank on this one. I know, shocking. Uh, so now I'm crumpling up these 10 pieces of paper here into tiny balls so that we, I don't know which, who I'm picking or whatever. And then we'll determine the draft order. Again, the uh, the draft is, I believe, on September 5th. September 5th at 7 p.m. That is the Tuesday before the first game of the NFL season. So you'll have Wednesday to do uh, pickups and anything that you need. Um, I'm hoping everyone has a competitive year this year. Last year's competition was, it was steep all the way to the end. I think there were seven people contending for the playoffs, if my memory serves me right, at the end of last year. So... Hopefully we have that kind of continuity here again. It was a very competitive season. As my cat has the zoomies in the kitchen. We have the official uh, stir of the bag waiting for her duties to commence. Doing her Vanna White roll. You need to come on camera in order to do it though. It doesn't count if you're not on camera. They're going to yell at me. They, th this is true. You would yell at me if you didn't see the bag being shaken. No. She thinks this is ridiculous. Thank you. You're all set. Thank you. Again, the bag has officially been shaken. It is in there. All ten objects. I have here the piece of paper that which I'll be writing down. The order in which you get to select. So I'll be putting in the face group trap, putting in whatever group message we have. Um, or texting you individually when it's your turn. Uh, try not to take more than a day to decide where you want to pick. Um... But, I mean, if you need to think about it a little bit, I get it. Then you can set the draft order and then be ready to come draft it. So, we'll see. So, here it is. This is going to be who is selecting first in the draft lottery. First in the draft lottery. The paper is in my hand. First in the draft lottery is... Lobo. Lobo gets to pick where he wants to pick first. Lobo with the number one spot. Will he pick number one? Or will he not pick number one? Does he not want the pressure of who to pick at the, at the top spot? We don't know. We'll find out when Lobo decides. Picking behind Lobo, who's a wild card, you never know what's going to happen to him. So he might not He might not want Justin Jefferson. He might want somebody else. I don't know. Second is McGinnity. McGinnity picks behind Lobo. McGinnity's probably not going to go with Justin Tucker first round, but I wouldn't put it past him picking him in like the fifth or the sixth. You know, sometimes you just got to pick who you love, you know? And after you met the person, too. Picking behind McGinnity in the third spot of the lottery, as there's a pitch and change for the Boston Red Sox. Ritz. Ritz gets to pick third. So where will, where will he go? Will his Giants finish better than third in the NFC East? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not big on the Cowboys this year, but I don't know. It's not the vision to pick, besides uh, the Commanders probably being in fifth, if we're being honest. But maybe Sam Howell's first. I doubt it. 
Picking fourth behind Ritz for the draft lottery is Tommy. Tommy gets to pick fourth. Tommy, he's going to have a roller coaster of a football season with a new quarterback and his team and his old quarterback on Stephen Roney's team. You never know. You never know. I don't know if he's rooting for success or failure for Aaron Rodgers. I don't know. With the fifth selection as to where they're going to pick is the commissioner himself, myself. Pick number five. Pick number five. You know what? I hope nobody ever picks number five because I like the middle part of the draft. I like that. Um, but we will see. The top half of the draft lottery is Lobo, McGinnity, Ritz, Tommy, and then myself. Also, you can't call me crooked if I'm number five. I'm smack dab in the middle. Smack dab in the middle. Cannot call me crooked. Come on, Red Sox. Get out of this inning. Picking six behind myself. The defending champ. Pick six. He wants to continue his reign atop the room. He is in possession of the fine trophy. Please don't lose it. The other fantasy football league I'm a part of, my uh, my cousin's league, uh, we had a championship belt, and I held it for a year, and uh, the belt is lost. Nobody knows where it is. So slight, uh, slight turmoil in, in my cousin's fantasy league. Picking seventh behind the defending champ Tom is going to be Steve. Steve is going 7th. As I am taping this, Steve is in a fantasy football draft right now with some other friends. So, hope he's doing okay in that draft. We got three picks left. I feel three little balls of paper in my hand. Going in the 8th spot after Steve in terms of drafting is Ronan. Ronan is going 8th. Ronan is going 8th. Whoop. Ronan, I know the Premier League started. I have no idea how Liverpool is supposed to be. I don't know. I don't know. If this is going to be buzzy, my segue is going to be that Pulisic is no longer on Chelsea. Is Buzzy going to pick after ninth? Is my segue going to be absolutely perfect? Ah, yes it is! Woohoo! Buzzy! Picking ninth. I almost wrote down Chelsea on the piece of paper. I did not. Almost did. Almost had a moment. And with absolutely no say as to where he's going to pick... Jimmy. Jimmy, my boy. Jimmy, he'll probably be picking, I would guess, like, 8th or ninth, because somebody's going to want that last pick. Uh, they want they want to have the wraparound. So, Jimmy is 10th in the draft lottery order. He has absolutely no say in where he goes. So, here it is the order once again. Lobo, McGinnity, Ritz, Tommy, Stanko, Tom, Steve, Ronan, Buzzy, and Jimmy. That is the order of the draft lottery. Um, I'm approaching 10 minutes here on this video, so it's probably gone too long. A couple things just to tidy up. $50 buying, I think, is standard to keep that for the league this year. We're not going to increase it because Brits is buying a house. I'm saving for a wedding. People with families in this group chat. I don't know who's the most free financially among us, but damn. 50 bucks. We're going to keep it at that. Uh, I do think last place should be uh, pay double uh, to avoid finishing last place. Um, I think that is, that would be fair, but again, I'm open to ears on that. Um, and the positions are going to stay the same as last year. If anyone has any objections about the points in this league, um, Steve, this would be when to raise your hand if you want to make it known. Um, Steve is just very good at complaining about points in his other leagues. He's, he's an expert at it. Um, so yeah, so those are, those are the general things. That's our draft lottery order video. Appreciate you guys, uh. Sticking in there. I know it's a little bit later than usual. And I will see everyone. I'll uh, organize a Google Meet or a Zoom or something. Um, I'll have to take the first part of the draft from the train. But um, we'll organize something to get everyone so they can see each other's faces and make fun of each other in person. Um, so, yeah, that's all. That's the Fancy Draft Lottery Order video. And we'll see you guys in a week for the start of the fancy football season.